Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name's Damien, and today we're going to talk about some uh, Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man comics, guys. Uh, I got a few here. I have a full, like I said in an earlier video, I am Spider-Man fanatic. Um, big time Spider-Man collector. I have the Amazing Run 1 through present. I have number, uh, I have Amazing Fantasy 15 right there, guys. Yeah, uh, signed on the inside page uh, by Stan Lee. You know what? Love it. Um... All the other volumes, I got most of those. Uh, miss, one of the biggest ones I'm missing is uh, Spider-Man Annual number one. Um, so that's kind of a, a goal for me, as you would know. That's a tough goal, because every grade is bonkers right now. Uh, but today we're going to look at some books. I picked out 10 uh, Spider-Man books that we're going to uh, send off to CGC. These are early books, guys. I don't have graded. It is time to do so. Um, we're going to start with the earliest ones, okay? So we have Amazing Spider-Man number two right here, first appearance of the Vulture. Okay, uh, you know, these are all in pretty rough shape, guys. I'm uh, probably going to send off, uh, send a couple in for a clean and a press. Um, there's a guy locally that does this. So I'm going to check with him, see if he's still doing it. If not, I'm just going to send it to um, um, whoever does it at CGC. CGCS? No, that's a different comic book. Anyways, get them clean and pressed there. Uh, CCS. Yeah, that's right. Comic Cleaning Services. Sure. Um, yeah, so because this one got a little bit dirt on it. So other than that, I mean, it's... You know, it's in rough shape, but it's not too bad, guys. This might... I'm going to take guesses at the grades. I had them written down earlier and, and you know, went through the Overstreet grade, uh, grading guide and all that. And uh, now it's just going to be ballpark because I'm not that good at grading it. Um, but we'll just take a guess. So, you know, I think with a clean... This one this one could reach up... <sighs> marble shipping, right? So that's kind of a crapshoot. Um, man, it's not too bad. Maybe 4.5? That's the hopeful. That's like the hope. That is like reaching for the stars. Realistically, between 3.5 and 4.5. How about that? We'll give ourselves a range, right? That's pretty good. Um, next up, of course. Now, uh, number one is graded there as well. 4.5. Not bad. Had that a long time ago. Oh, well, yeah. Circuit like 2014 probably. So pretty pleased with having that one in the bag. Uh, number three is rough shape, guys. I mean, uh, first Doc Ock. Um, you're looking at maybe a 2.5 at best, right? Um, I don't know what a press and clean is going to do for that, or even if it's eligible, eligible if the pages are brittle, but, um, you know, here it is. But, hey, it's still great to have, right? You want it? Of course you do. You're not getting it. It's mine. That one's staying with me for forever. Why not? Uh, next up, now, guys, number four, first appearance of the Sandman. Uh, this one, a bit of a spiral, a couple tears, uh, I mean, you know, it's in rough shape. They're all in rough shape, I keep saying that. Oh, there's a stamp on there. Um, but still, I mean, I have worse and seen worse. Let's go 2.5, 3.5. How about that, right? Yeah, why not? Okay, next one we got, uh, number five. First, uh, well, it's not first Doctor Doom. It's Doctor Doom crossover into Spider-Man comics, but it is number five. So it's an early one. So we're going to send it out with the other early ones, right? Um, this one is in, you know, uh, yeah. Ew. Oh, my. There's a bunch of stuff going on with this. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, it's not a 1.8, anyway. So we'll say dirt there. 2.5 to 3. Okay. All right. I think so. Electro. This one is deceiving. I'm a bit rotted with this. Uh, if you're wondering about number 6, the first appearance of Lizard, that's already on my wall there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in this shot or not um, because I, you know, moved my camera and the angle changes. So that's it. Um, so that's a 5.5. Submitted that myself years ago. This one has got a big tear here, guys. Uh, number nine, first appearance of Electro, right? Big tear, you know, some scuffing off the front there. Uh, everything else that's wrong with it, line breaks, creases, but I mean, the tear kills it. I mean, that's what? Inch and a half. Ah, yeah. So, what do we say here? What are we gonna say here? Yeah, three. Let's give them all threes. We don't need to be guessing. This one's rough too, but uh, Amazing Spider-Man 13, first appearance of Mysterio. And that's why I want, I want the uh, 
Spider-Man Annual number one. Sinister Six, baby. It was great. And, you know, that stems from me being a huge 90s uh, Spider-Man cartoon fan from the 90s. Like, I'd wake up early to watch that as a teenager, right? What can get you out of bed at 6 a.m.? Spider-Man cartoons. That's it. Um, yeah, this one's in rough shape, too. But it might be a little bit more than some of the others. might be a 3.5. We'll, we'll bump that up an extra half grade, guys. Let's, you know... If it comes back higher, great. If it comes back lower, whatever. Who cares? We got a benchmark then to uh, to upgrade those, to curate that collection, like we said. This one's nice, guys. This one's nice. Um, this one's Amazing Spider-Man, number 15. First appearance of Craven the Hunter. Uh, this, I don't know where this falls, guys. This is definitely mid-range. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll say... Oh, my goodness. Man. Man. I'm saying 5.0 to 6. I think it's higher than the 5.0. What do you guys think? Have a look at that. It's not bad. It's not bad. If it comes back lower, won't be disappointed. Still got it there. Um, if you're wondering about Amazing Spider-Man 14, first Green Goblin one, probably my favorite comic other than Amazing Fantasy 15. Green Goblin's my favorite villain. Okay, always has been. Again, 90s cartoons, guys. Can't go wrong. He was pretty crazy in the uh, in the old 67 series or 69 series, whatever it was, too. We have that one in a 7.5 on the wall there. Um, little story, I, uh, I, I already upgraded that one. I had a copy, and not uh, unbeknownst to me, I sent it in the CGC, came back 5.5 purple label. So uh, we sold that, and we upgraded uh, to 7.5, right? So that's a pretty good upgrade. What do you think? Uh, next one we got is Amazing Spider-Man 20. This one, eh, a few things wrong with this one. So we got some cover wear here. Spawn is rough. Uh, again, it rolls. Corners beat up here. I mean, you know, these are old books. So what do you expect, right? But still, I mean, presents half decent. So, ooh, I don't know. 3.5. 3.5. Let's say it. Like I said, I mean, it's these lower grade, lower grade is harder to grade than higher grading, I think so. Because, I mean, you're looking at so many defects that it's, that, you know, what do you pick from? So, like I said before, I had my little um, guide out to grading God, Overstreet grading God, and that helps a little bit. But, I mean, you know, the, uh, amateur at best is, I mean, guys, uh, as we do more of this, maybe it'll get a little bit better. Uh, next up, we have Amazing Spider-Man 31, first appearance of Gwen Stacy and Harry Osborn, I believe. Yeah, Harry. Yes, yeah. Right? So, um, this is nice, guys. Some people love this cover. You know what? I'm not the hugest fan of this cover. Um, but that's okay. Still a huge fan of the book, right? Uh, what do we think about this, guys? It's probably mid-grade. Four, I, four, I think, I think, I don't know. 4.5 to 5. 4.5 to 5. All right, let's give that. Let's try that out. And like I said, these are quick looks, guys. Don't. This is not meticulous grading here. We're sending it off anyway. These books are keys, right? We're gonna send them off, and we're gonna be happy with whatever they come back as. It's just, it's just kind of curating your collection, getting those keys graded, so that um, you know. Well, to be morbid, okay. To be morbid, all right. One reason for me to get this graded is my family doesn't have any interest in these books when I'm gone. You know. <laughs> Um, it's a bit easier for them to move the books if they're graded, right? So, and plus, man, I like graded books. I do. I don't read these. Let's get them graded. I'm not, I'm not getting rid of them. Let's get them graded. Safe, then, encapsulated. All right, next one we have is Amazing Spider-Man 41, guys. First appearance of the Rhino. Um, this one is looking pretty, not bad. I mean, again, low mid-grade, eh, probably 4.0. 4.0. 4.0. I don't know what that value is because we said in an earlier video we're not going to... It's definitely more than 200 bucks, isn't it? Right? I think so. Gotta be. Gotta be. This one is, guys. This one is. So this is our... Uh, I picked out 10 books. Pretty sure it was 10. You count for me. I didn't count. I'm not counting afterwards either. Count to 10. That's crazy. Um, next one up, though. Take a guess, guys. Yeah, you got it. Amazing Spider-Man 50. First appearance of the Kingpin. Again, guys, this is mid... Eh, mid low to mid-grade. I mean, it has some flaws to it. Uh, we'll probably get this one clean and pressed because uh, it takes some of these flaws out of it. Bit rough around the edges and that, but I mean, it is complete. It doesn't have any big chunks missing or anything like that. I mean, obviously, these books were, were read and reread and read and traded and read again, right? So, um, you know, we'll call this a 4.5 as well, right? So that's our guesses, guys. So, um, you know, when the uh, books come back from CGC and apparently, 
when I have a long gray beard, but yeah, like we're looking at a long time, guys, probably nine or 10 weeks or something like that. We'll, um, we'll uh, link the uh, video for the graded unboxing onto this one when it finally comes back and we'll do vice versa. We'll link this video to the, uh, to the unboxing of the, uh, of the graded comics. Um, so yeah, this has been kind of fun, guys. Um, I'm enjoying this. So um, the worst thing is I'm going to have to wait so long for books to come back from CGC. Um, so, you know, if you're liking it too, uh, give the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. I don't know how often I'm going to put videos out, guys. There's only, you know, uh, don't have... Anyways, it doesn't matter about my time or anything like that. But at least I'm going to aim for once a week and we'll go from there. And if there's surprises and we put up another video, great. But, um, you know, so hit that notification button uh, if you want to be notified when there's another video up. Uh, I won't bombard you with boring videos. I just want to do what I want to do. None of this filler. All right. So we're saying one a week for now. Everything else is a surprise. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, peace.